welcome back to my channel learn with nikhil so in this lecture we have taken an another sum on isometric projection where we have been given the front view and the side view now first we will calculate the total width height and depth so here 55 plus 50 the total width is 105 mm the total depth of the figure is 56 mm and the total height of the figure given here that is 55 plus 25 that will be 80 mm now with this three dimensions we will draw a cube or a rectangular box now here you can see we always start with the point o so if this is the point o on this side will be the front view and this side will be the side view now let's start constructing the rectangular box first we will draw a straight horizontal line will mark a point through that point we will draw three angles that is 90 degree 30 degree and 30 degree we will draw this lightly so these are the three lines three angles now this is the point o so this is the point o origin point on this side left side we have the front view this side we have the side view now side view total width is 105 so i'll marking here 105 then height of the figure is 80 so here i am marking 80 and the depth of the figure is 56 that is the front view width now with this dimensions we will construct the rectangular box so see how i am constructing we have to draw parallel lines through these three lines draw the parallel lines properly just check after you have drawn the rectangular box whether the dimensions are properly marked and if it is right then we can proceed forward now starting with this first you can see this part we will draw it later we we'll start with the point o this height given is 25 mm so we will draw this 25 mm starting from the point o this is dark then on the other side also we have a height of 25 mm this is this and this part is this now we'll join this through this line this you can draw it parallel with the dark line so this part is done now on the side view you can see we have this straight dark line at the bottom so we'll draw this dark this is this line then again we have an height of 25 mm So from here I am marking a height of 25 mm. Make it dark. Then again, this is joint here. After doing this part, now you can see you have a height extension of 55 mm. I'll draw this part dark. This is the height extension. Now here you have a slant line, but the slant line is inwards now this slant line has a part in between it is inward as you can see from the side view it is straight but from the front view it is moving inwards so this is the slant line now here you can see it has a depression of 50 mm at 50 mm so i'll mark a point here at 50 mm so this is this point i'll extend this point inwards and on that line we will mark the front view this distance this is 56 so on this point or this line we will mark or draw a light line of 56 mm and on that line we will mark this points so first we will mark the center point it will be around 28 mm so i am marking the point half of 56 then from that point 7.5 on each side will give you 15 mm so this is this gap and after that 12 mm on each side so this part we have constructed from the center 15 12 and 12 so this part has been constructed here i just mark the points now taking this line as parallel will extend this lines upward draw this part lightly next 
now taking this line as parallel from this point we will mark the points over here as it's a slant part this part is attached over here now this part pay attention this is the slant part so i'm taking this as the reference line and drawing the parallel line from this point till this point so draw the line again you can see here from here till it intersects the straight line we have drawn so we have drawn from this point to this point now this part is done now we'll draw this part dark this line dark this line dark taking this as the parallel line drawing this part dark as you can see in the question this is this part extending this downward this is hidden behind now joining this point to this point as it is inwards joining this line now this part don't make it dark this keep it light only and join this now the remaining part to make it dark this part make it dark now as you can see here this is the block section as you can see when you take the lines parallel properly this point to this point will exactly intersect so we have drawn the figure perfectly joining this part to this as this is the slant line remaining part make it dark this part make it dark now this part again we have to draw the parallel line as with respect to this line draw the line over here make it dark this part is hidden now our whole block is almost ready now we have to draw this part or drawing this part we have to draw this part two dimensionally separately and then we will plot it in three dimensional now the width is 56 this is the 56 so we will draw two points of 56 the distance is 56 this height you can draw it randomly any height is fine then you have this distance of 15 mm so from here 15 mm draw a dark line from here also 15 mm draw a dark line now i'll plot this part for this you can see we have to draw an angle of 60 degrees so i am marking a point of 60 degree from both the sides both the points as the angle given is 60 degree as you can see this angle is 60 degree total angle is 180 so even if you mark 120 degrees on one side the remaining angle will be 60 degree so from here also 60 degree so both these points are drawn this height is 10 mm so this is 10 mm draw the line lightly now from here the angle which we have taken to 60 degree we will join it now this part is done join this dark and this part has been created now what is the use of creating this in two dimensional is that we will get to know the width of the figure and we can place it because angle we can't mark it in three dimensional we have to mark the dimensions so this angle is 60 degree so as i said angle we can't mark in three dimensional so we have to make in 2d now this distance we know this is 15 mm now we have plotted this to find the distance i'll show you which distance we have to find out first i'll plot this part this is 15 from here this is 15 from here now as i said angle we can't mark in three dimensional so we will find the distance so we will calculate this distance i'll show you first mark a height of 10 draw a parallel line lightly
now this part is done now this distance we have to calculate the angle touching the height of 10 mm so this distance between we have to find out it will be same on both the sides so this distance we have to find out for this we have drawn this part separately so we will automatically get the angle in three dimensional so calculating this distance you can measure it by scale it is around 5.8 millimeters you can take 6 millimeters or between 5.5 around you can take as it's a very small dimension 0.8 millimeters is really small so you can take around 6 millimeters also it's fine now from here 5.8 millimeters we will mark a point c so 5.8 millimeters i marked a point now i'll project this point upward till the 10 millimeter intersecting point so i'll project this point here and from here i'll join a dark line to this so this is how i got the angle in three dimensional same i'll do it from here 5.8 millimeters i'll mark a point and i'll project this point upward towards the 10 millimeter point and from here i'll join this so see how i have plotted the angle in three dimensional now joining this our part is done our figure is almost done drawing the inner lines this line will be visible as it is a cut section this arrow represents front view and we are done with the figure just marking off the dimensions and we are good to go Thank you for watching do subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts any queries let me know in the comment section you can also connect with me on instagram